I was surprised to see a Coliseides make an appearance at all during Watch the Throne. I know he has one, but it's really rare to see it in the western part of the world. Funnily enough, it was only for one set, and it never appeared again. So that's what we were discussing today. I think the biggest flaw I've seen is that he doesn't really hide his game plan slash win condition very well. You'll see him fish for pirate down airs on the ground and platforms numerous times during this set. And sometimes he'll stay pirate until he gets what he wants. It is to his detriment, but I think coming from Steve it totally makes sense. Steve's game plan is in plain sight and he doesn't really need to switch things up to get his win condition, right? Minecart, anvil and mining are all things that are difficult to contest without getting hit. So yeah, I'm not dogging on Akola for this. He was just really nervous facing Spargo. Probably. Before we start, I also want to say that these videos aren't supposed to be summaries. I typically go very in-depth with my analysis, so if you want a summary of how things went, go watch Rister Mice. You know, get past some of the, uh, the best agencies in the business and, pre and uh, prior tournaments as well. So there's no ignorance in this match at, at all. No, absolutely not. Both sides with a lot of skin in the... Going for Futsal after blazing in here was actually so clever. If he hadn't, Spargo would have just gotten sent to center stage again. But instead, Akola was able to put him back into the corner, even if just for a little while longer. Trapping, no real edge stuff going on here. It's just mostly in the center, but you see Akola locking him down, getting that grab, switching over to Mithra here. Oh, oh nice. Okay. <laughs> Shout it from the rooftops. Grab it Pyra when the opponent is shielding a lot. The down smash foresight bait was really good, but I think overall the Mitra switch wasn't necessary in that situation. Cloud has to recover low, and stalling with side B just makes the up B timing even more predictable. So, it could have been a spike from Pyra, is what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on. How much fun you're having. <laughs> you, you need to respect this. Climb, yeah. Cloud's climb hazard is such a get out of jail free card at times. Oh, oh my God. goodness, oh. hold on. Wow. Oh, oh, on. Off stage down air? Oh, oh okay. almost. Just but still little, locked little down. It, it, he's avoiding the down air, and Sparko's picking an option too fast and got down to it twice and got sort of reset over and over. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. hit again and again. Now he's oh. able to make it oh. back. Oh. But oh. for how long? Oh. This whole sequence was so good. Dodging cross slash with movement and carrying Spargo to the ledge. Funny how I was saying Akola wasn't spiking Spargo and cross slash stalling. Timing was a bit off this time, but we're getting there. Spargo picks ledge jump immediately after grabbing ledge twice and takes a nice 40 from it. What I like here is that Akola's downer timing would have caught the air dodge to ledge, so Spargo had to spend the limit to get back. Something I will say here though, is that Akola lets Spargo land with airless for free a lot during this set. Catches the roll with downer up B and that's a stock. Really well done. Great grab coming up from Spargo. Off stage? No. Nice. Okay, yeah. You, you oh, thought. Okay. <laughs> I think mean, they were both a little green. Spargo becomes just a little bit more dangerous. Oh, yeah, but wait a minute. I got some DLC privilege too. Rakshan air dodge down out of shield, of course, the force. Nice foresight attempt. Like really, really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled into it. <laughs> okay. Locking him down here in the corner. Can't go. I commend the footstool down air attempt. Too high because, of course, you gotta deal with like either. Up tilt would have finished the job here. Faster startup and slightly more vertical range. This is the difficult part with landing down there on a platform, and only through experience will he know what to go for in each situation. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! I just think Akola is doing such a good job with covering space safely with up air and back air, both auto cancel on short hop. Unfortunately, the pivot cancel up tilt was shielded. How confident Akola is in landing this kill? These auto cancel uppers and backers to cover center stage are so threatening for Spargo to deal with. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're played so well, but can he close it out, Spargo? Definitely on the doorstep of bringing this one all the way back. Great forward tilt. Akola is swinging Catch. a little too. Oh. Jeez, man. Bargo, his utilization of Unfortunately, you're not really getting anything out of down airs like that unless the opponent attacks on the platform. Sparkle did the smart thing and jumped away. Hold on. All tools involved uh. for his character. And here's the other big flaw in Akola's gameplay, switching out a hit stun. It gets him blown up a few times. There does not disappoint it again. We're seeing that nair. Down air fishing getting righteously punished. Switches out a hit stun again for another 30. God, I wish he had reversed that Mitra up B. It could have been such an amazing reversal. The switch worked out this time though, and we get a funny up B spike, so it's not all bad. Like, yeah, you're a sortie, but every time you swing, I'm going to parry. I mean, you only have Ooh. so many approach options. As oh, Mithra, oh, nice. Whoa. Okay. And that right. Uh, this is Aegis in a lot of ways. Right. Akola definitely has the ability, but. Ah, good there. Yeah. Oh, that looks. But Mesh is definitely sent, though. Not going to be able to jump on me for free. True. Sure. So, I was going to say that Akola gets a bit too near on shield happy, but he turns it around just afterwards, and it's beautiful. 
Not touching the corner like that. Oh, I love that grab. Yeah. Love that. We need more of that. Yeah, right now, Sparkle's starting to push the envelope. Oh, nice. Looking for uh, the one hit on cross Wait huh. a minute. I am so torn about this sequence. The switch timing was fantastic, and the up caught Sparkle's jump. It couldn't possibly have gone any better. But generally speaking, when people jump off like this and want to hit you, doing an early up with Mitra instead of risking getting hit by switching is a better idea. Alternatively, you can recover high or hit them before they hit you. Anyway, this was still really well played. Moving on. Her way in a heartbeat. You mm -hmm. need center stage first, though. Yes, she do. Oh, oh, wow. The dance. Is that Damn. Smash? Is she charging forward? Wait a minute. Look, Akola is a great player. I just, I think he's got the same issue a lot of Aegis players has, which is like sealing that stock is harder than you think. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you switch to Pyro and you're just getting swatted. You're taking all this easy percent, but you feel like you need to be her because you need to kill with four tilt. <laughs> and then it's just, you're dead, you know? Like the side B to cover space. So Akula almost lost his stock for doing that, and I'll tell you why. Recovering with Blazing End like that isn't necessarily bad, but it's a rookie mistake picking a ledge option immediately after. The only reason Akula lives is because Spargo missed the timing by a few frames. Anyway, this is your PSA, to be patient on the ledge if you're gonna recover this way. Just another solid pyro sequence by Akula. Yeah, he did let some defensive options go unpunished, but I want to highlight how he's keeping Spargo in the corner. Unfortunately, he swung a bit too early with the up tilt and loses his dark word. a lot of space here. Akola is respecting maybe a dash attack or a burst out of the corner. Mm. This so, is so imperative. Oh, I was gonna say so imperative. Yeah. Akola just. Uh, yeah, pre that's a good way to put it. Anticipatory, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple words we could use here. Yeah, but not too. That's right. Good read right there, though. Spargo, of course, showing a lot of confidence oh. up close and personal. One that time, kind of coming back to bite him a little bit. Great turnaround down tilt to cover the parry cross up. Uh oh. Oh, I'm loving this. He has not been touched. There is. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh don't ever. He, 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 he has a jump. He has a jump. He has a jump. Good. Uh oh. Oh, great turn. Oh, oh, got it. He got it. I'm not surprised he's off smash connected, but I was also half expecting Akula to go for down tilt up air, as I think he would have done the deal. Just an example of how much more hit stun the Tipper Sweet Spot has compared to the other Spike Hitbox. So we want a general kill here. So he wants so swing bad, big. Bro. He want that so bad. Oh, oh yeah. he might get it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It up a little bit. 100%. I think it's just due to the fact that like so much of this match has been played towards center stage. We don't, we don't really get to the ledge until about 100. Dude, like why are they doing it? You know? They're pretty far away. Look at the stadium. Now. <laughs> uh, could be an offstage gimp right oh. now. Oh. Upbeat? Oh, doesn't find it. Oh, he's always scouting it out though. That F-Smash though. Wait, wait. What the? Okay. Back. I do like the upbeat attempt, but I still think that switching to Pyro and attempting a spike would have been better. Again, Cloud is recovering low without limits, so his mix-ups are... Limited. Catches another ledge jump with 4 smash this time. Spargo gets limit and mixes up by going above ledge. Unfortunately, Aquila was preparing to 2 frame with down air, so Spargo makes it back to stage. Up on Spargo anytime that he's trying to play a little bit more defensively. Roll back air? Gets the no. confirm. Okay. Oh, god. Woo. I mean, Cola played that first stock just impeccably, but now Spargo can't try to start oh, lock it. Oh, I did love not that know. choice. <laughs> Good grab, simple stuff. Yeah, that's okay. Man, he was so close to covering that roll, but the up tilt was just too early. Off stage. Oh, oh he wants blood. Yeah. Off stage, upbeat. He caught the transformation. Oh, wow, I, I saw it. it. I yeah. saw it. Okay. Go. We were so fast, and now the game pivot just shifted so Ow, slow. Right. Wait, off stage? <gasps> no, what are you that swinging at? Smash. That was forward wow. smash, right? I mean, or forward air, anything off stage. Something. Yeah. yeah. There was a little bit of a gap there. He just let that go oh, unchecked. Good Wait parry. Off stage? He's looking off for stage? it. Get no. some of the final okay. hits on there. Right? Put in the corner, okay. He wants down air right now. I mean, now. we're forcing it. Yeah, I, it feels a little eager, but I mean, if you get it. Oh, oh I love oh. the up air. We're swinging early. We're confident. All right, we swap. We swap. Okay. Oh, is it enough? It is. Yes. Spargo holds it down. A cola.